So in this lesson, we'll look at the default text. When you open up a Word document, and I'm showing you this on a Macintosh side, we will look at the PC side in just a moment. But let's say that I want to just simply enter some placeholder text, some lorem ipsum text. Well, you notice that the text here is single spaced, and it is Calibri font, and it is 12 point font. So you can obviously make changes very quickly. If you're on the Macintosh side, you can open up the paragraph dialog box, and you can make changes to the default indentation or the first line, and you can double space. But how do you do this just to save time so that every document you open up has the formatting, has the font and the spacing that you want? That's what we look at now. So to start this out, just go ahead and open up a blank document. I've opened up the document called text. And once again, we'll add in some lorem text, L-O-R-E-M, and then begin paren in parentheses. And when I hit enter, you see the result, you see the lorem ipsum text. Now I will undo that real quick and I'll show you another variation on that. The syntax for this is actually number of paragraphs, number of lines. So if I wanted to generate three paragraphs of text and a total of 10 lines of text of lorem ipsum text, that is the syntax, lorem parentheses three comma 10. And then when I hit enter, I get lorem ipsum text that looks like that. So if you need to pause the tape to generate some sample text that we'll work with in this module, go ahead and do that now. Once I've got something to work with, and you could just type in a single word in your blank sheet of paper here, but I'm going to select the text and I'm going to take note of the default that Word uses, Calibri 11 point font. Well, maybe I'm an attorney or maybe I'm a writer and I need to use Times New Roman instead. Now you can certainly find that easily enough by typing in Times, T-I-M, and it should shortcut you right down to Times New Roman. I've selected it previously, so it's right here in my recently used fonts. However you want to do it, just change the font type to whatever you want to be the default font. Same with the size. But when we're done, we want to open up the font dialog box. So use this little dialog box launcher, that button there, or you can do control D on the keyboard as the screen tip indicates. And now what we're looking for after we set our font size, style, and the uh, typeset, we can go down to set as default. And when I click on that, you see this dialog box here. Do you want to set the default font to Times New Roman 12 point font? And do you want to do it for this document only? What you'll probably want to do is all documents based on the normal template. So once that's done, click on OK. And now if we open up a second document, so new blank document, and I begin typing, or I type in some dummy text, you can already see that the text is Times New Roman 12 point font because I'm typing some text. I'm in fact, I'm typing in a lorem into the document. And now you can see the results of setting that default font. So that's how it's done. Pretty straightforward. It looks almost exactly the same on the Macintosh side. Now that font, that default is set with the normal template that's used for any new blank document you use. We publish tips and tricks like this each and every week. So if you want to stay up to date, be sure and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.